Guys, it's happened. I didn't think it would, but it's happened. I've been cancelled by an Illuminati fan. Without further ado, I just want to apologise to her. So, here, here that goes. I'm sorry, Karenna, for being happy in my videos. I'm sorry for being joyful and positive. I realise that's not the way to be now. I should be angry and full of hatred in my voice. I realise that even the littlest things on the internet should bother me. With that said, my final message would be SUCK MY BIG FAT JUICY NUTS Karenna. So yeah, as you guys heard, I've been cancelled by the biggest Illuminati fan in the world. Yeah. It's pretty serious. You're probably asking, why should I watch this video? Well, she tries to cancel you as well. Her second video is all about you, okay? So stick around for that. But just to let you know, you're only going to be seeing this half of me today because it's currently 30 degrees Celsius in London and bollock naked from the waist down. So this is how we're going to be filming it. This is the vibe today. Sweet. So what did this wet blanket actually say? Well, first of all, just to know a bit of trivia for you, she deletes comments when people don't agree with her. So if you comment disagreeing with her, you're done. You're gone, okay? She can't hear any criticism whatsoever. She'll cry about it. Seriously, she'll hop on the internet and cry about it. That's just what she does. That's that's the best thing she... That, that's her job. She cries on the internet. Because she can't take criticism. You know why? Because you're wrong and she's right. That's the way it works around you, okay? Just remember that. You're wrong. She's right. Brilliant. Let's get into it, guys. Oh, I shouldn't be positive, should I? Sorry. Damn it! That's better. Let's get into it. Well, you don't give a fuck like this fucking dumbass here. Nobody a shit. Prick. So she made a reaction video reacting to my Illuminati video and she shredded me. So let's take a look. So I'm just gonna watch this one first. Okay, so this is the first one. Ugh, I'm already annoyed. That filter. Whatever. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bitch got triggered by a filter. There's nothing funny about it. <laughs> One second into the video. Now that's what you call pathetic and petty. Fucking pathetic. Right, welcome back to another episode of Bad Haircuts. In this video, we're going to be talking about a channel called... I just... Okay, you guys don't... These intros from these drama channels, they're like, All right, you guys, I'm going to talk in the most ridiculous way possible. Let's make a joke here. Here we go. It's your boy. We're going to get into the drama now with the dramatic music. Yes, I am a comedian, not really. Oh, and straight away again, nitpicking. Alrighty, 10 seconds later. This is about me making a ridiculous intro. So my intro is ridiculous. I said, welcome back, everyone. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I completely agree, Karen. I was completely over the top. I am stupid. Hey, everyone. So I wanted to talk about the new controversy. Whoa, did you see that? Way over the top. I don't understand why people have to do these kind of intros. Comment down below, guys, if you've seen the show The Good Place on Netflix. It's basically when you die, you go to a good place or a bad place. In Karenna's eyes, she doesn't belong in the good place. She belongs in the best place. I mean, obviously, there's a place better than this. I belong there. In the best place. When he says it's petty, he calls it petty instead of what's actually happening, which is someone who's breaking the law in many different ways over years. This is someone who has been slandering and stealing content, and you sum it up by calling it petty, which is really disingenuous. Second of all, I think that her accusing somebody of copying her editing style, a style that's been around for years, is pretty petty. I would say it's extremely petty, wouldn't would, wouldn't you agree? No, no, of course you don't. Of course you don't. Because for the good of mankind, Karina can't agree with anyone. She's always right. Everyone else is always wrong. They love to do that. Let me put the little summaries in there to, you know, drive up the runtime. Everybody knows the summary already. You're, you made the video because everybody's making videos on it. <laughs> She didn't really want to give them the information, so they figured out how to do it themselves. Content on, you know, him thing. and trying to like lose him and them. all this stuff. She, she really like hired them the information so they figured out how to do of him saying all like, There's no point in repeating this. Oh, okay, so I, I do recaps to drive up the runtime. I should just make videos as long as Karina's, which is 39 minutes and 48 seconds long. Yeah. I should, shouldn't I? That would, that would really would. I am stupid. Although you are right, I definitely do do recaps in my videos, but you know why? When you have people that like you, like an audience that actually likes your content, they don't tend to go to other YouTubers too much about drama. They go to their favorite YouTuber, which sometimes could be me. So therefore, I have to give recaps. I have to speak about the situation because they haven't heard it yet, because I'm their favorite YouTuber and they like watching me. I know you don't know anything about that, but that's all right, don't worry. But, on, but honestly, you're my favorite YouTuber. 
Uh, I'm actually a really big fan. I, I really like the, the video you've done, the, the random updates video. Yeah, th that was awesome. <laughs> you don't like- Again, it's not even that funny. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Oh, I just, I- Shut the hell up, bitch. Yep, this is definitely the most miserable person on the internet. <laughs> she makes fun of my laugh. Hoo 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 hoo. Twat. If I feel like laughing, Karina, I laugh. Because I can laugh because I enjoy what I do. I'm not angry and pissed off 24-7. I'm not going to die within 10 years because of the amount of stress I'm releasing. No, I'm very relaxed. Very calm guy. Loves to laugh and just have a good time. Sorry if that annoys you. Because this was just embarrassing. You know what you are? An energy vampire. That's the vibe I get from you. You just suck people's good energy out of them and just make them miserable. This is, this is how you sound in your videos. Just to let you know, that's the vibe you give off. Okay? Well, you don't give a fuck like this fucking dumbass here. Nobody gives a shit. Conversations on drama because of how stupid everyone is. But if you raise your voice as a fucking woman, everybody has a problem with it. They're like, your voice, your tone, oh my god. The tone police fucking come. Fuck you. Fuck you guys for my tone, okay? Get some self-control. This whole video is just her crying her tears all over the internet. <laughs> Stupid cow. And then accuses me of wasting everyone's time. Well, that's ironic. You wasted everyone's time for 39 minutes. And the hilarious thing is, in that video, you said this is the first video we're gonna watch. Implying that there were more videos following it. But it said the whole video, the whole 39 minute video, was about my 15 minute video. Milk in the runtime much? He can't take anything seriously. He just, whatever trauma he went through, something had to cause him to fucking be this way where he just has to laugh about everything. It's just like, it's not my fault that you have this problem. Well, what trauma did you go through to be such a miserable cow? I'm gonna get triggered and start talking angrily again. I cannot control it. It's not my fault that you have this problem. Like you clearly have no idea how content creation works. It would explain why your views are pretty much negative every video. It's because your format is absolute dog shit. Shit. The way you criticize my content is the reason why people are watching. You're just literally an energy vampire. And you say, oh, it's a rant video, it's a rant video. Yeah, you can make a rant video, still appear entertaining. So you're gonna be promoting bad messages and that's gonna be your legacy. Your legacy is gonna be you being a fucking idiot for however many years you're a YouTuber. Honestly, I'd much rather leave a legacy behind of being a complete idiot than a miserable bitch who sits there for 40 minutes judging other people for being in a good mood and making jokes. <laughs> Boo, go away, I've had enough of this video now. Honestly, I'd rather be urinated on than listen to this crap. So, go and fuck yourself, Karina. How about that? Now, she made a second video where it was titled Illuminati is not the problem. You brought this on yourselves. Yeah, you did, guys. It's your fault. Not mine. Not Illuminati's. Yours. And basically, she's responding to all the hate she got on the video she made on me. Uh, she deleted all the comments because they were criticizing her and uh, they're wrong. So that, you know, they're wrong. So that's why she deleted them. It's a valid point. She deleted the criticism because they didn't agree with her. Kind of makes sense in some sort of weird fucked up world. If the comments tell you this person said this and they said that and they said all these things. Oh, but you're being a hypocrite here because you said blah, blah, blah. And it's got a bunch of likes and a bunch of other comments supporting it. The people are going to be like, oh, shit, I don't want to watch that. Even though it didn't fucking happen because you guys don't know how to listen. If you post a comment and most people agree with it, there's a good chance that you're fucking wrong. I am stupid. Maybe the reason you get such shit comments is because you make such dog shit comments. You ever think about that? No, exactly. You think everyone else is the problem, but you aren't. That is your biggest flaw there. The biggest flaw in your character is you think you're right and everyone else is wrong. You're here and intelligence is there. So you're almost there, but in between this little line here, you have to understand the reason that comment had so many likes is because maybe people agreed with them. But of course, it doesn't matter because they're wrong and you're right, so that's all that matters. They're, they're accusing me of having to put in all this effort into my videos. They're like, you gotta, you know, why don't you make your video shorter? You dragged it out. I have a bunch of fucking issues that make it hard for me to sh edit down videos that short. Like, people are holding small channels to higher standards, which I talked about in the first video, but it literally takes more time and effort to edit down a long recording. And it's even harder if you're struggling with ADHD in a poor fucking setup because you know I'm not a rich YouTuber. They have editors, they auto edit their videos. So I don't have access to all that. I'm doing the best that I can. You don't have to fucking watch. Oh yeah, Karina, making excuses now. The biggest blagger I've ever heard in my life. I don't have editors either. 
I can't script just like you, because I have writer's block 24-7. I also can't keep attention on the script. I keep my mind keeps going other places. You know, I can't focus on a script. So that makes both of us. But your excuse would be what? That I can't cut down a 40 minute video because there's too much to cut down. All my videos are over an hour and a half and I cut them down to 10 to 15 minute videos. So, pretty fucking poor excuse and you're just fucking lazy, so. And also, if it interests you at all, I don't have editors and script writers because I'm not a rich YouTuber. Because most of my videos are demonetized. Because I'm not a light-hearted YouTuber, like you called me. Well, you should have titled your video that they're, they're not the only problem. You are the problem. You are the actual source that caused the whole thing. If you were the seed that grew the weed that turned into the giant fucking forest of bullshit, then you are the problem. Now, I am mistaken for assuming that the commentary channels were the problem, but I thought that they were on that first video. But thanks to all your fucking bullshit, I realized it's you guys. You caused it all. If it wasn't for you guys, we would not be here right now. If you were more critical and more intelligent, we wouldn't be here right now. So no, I'm not gonna put, you're not the only problem. I'm gonna put, you are the problem. Again, and I'm gonna point right at your ass, because it's you. And anybody who gets offended, that means you know that it's you, or else you wouldn't be upset, you wouldn't think this is directed at you, you fucking dummy. So y'all can try to come up in the comment section and say, she's just doing this for clout, you're getting deleted, bitch. You're getting deleted, I don't care. Yeah, I love doubling down on dumb bitches. I don't give a fuck, because you don't know what you're talking about. If you had any brains, you'd realize you're fucking yourself. Every view is a potential subscriber. Subscriber equals supporter. Supporter equals supporting your voice, your cause. Helping you get your voice out there. But of course, you just call them stupid. Yeah, I fucking deleted that comment because that's not what the fuck I meant. And I know people are gonna say, well, you're taking away people's freedom of speech. My comment section is not a place for you guys to encourage people to not watch my content. I don't know what makes you think you have the right to do that, but you don't. And people can make whatever fucking arguments they want, but that is not a place for my comment section. There you go again, guys. There you go again. Her comment section is not a place for you to disagree with her. So what's the point then? Everyone's got their own opinion. What's the point of a comment section if people can't disagree with you? Criticism is the purest form of advice you can get. It's tough love. Someone gives you criticism in a way they're trying to tell you how you can improve. But no. You don't see it like that. You see it as them being stupid and not having any brains. So... Uh... Anyway, Karenna said all these things about me. Really mean she was. Uh, do I care? Yes. The person through the screen on the internet, which is very much real life, hurt my feelings. So I'm gonna go and cry, if that's okay. And one final message to Karena, the Illuminati mega fan. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh.